Welcome to Between Heaven and Earth, an internet radio talk show where we help you connect spirit and divine guidance. Lisa Kay, your host, brings you shows that can enhance and transform your life with tips and new ideas for more happiness, abundance, and better relationships. Lisa is an expert on intuition and can show you how to strengthen your inner guidance to empower yourself. Each show is positive and uplifting to inspire your day. Her guest speakers are specialists on self-help, positive thinking, spirituality, and conscious living. Be the best that you can be with Between Heaven and Earth, conscious living for your soul. And angel blessings to everyone. Our show today is called, What are Angels and How Do We Communicate with Them? And my guest today is my friend and colleague, Isabel von Falois. And let me tell you a little about her amazing story. After a near-death experience at the age of eight, pianist Isabel started having prophetic dreams and visions. But it was only after having leukemia in the year of 2000 that she started to engage intensively with the angels. Within a short period of time, she started to receive advice from the angels who helped her to become completely healthy again. From that moment on, she studied various forms of energy healing, angels, and coaching to be able to support people on their path. And today, she spends most of her time traveling and speaking at international events and lecturing both nationally and internationally and giving workshops to help more and more people communicate with their angels to live a fulfilled life. And she's written several books that uh, have been German and Italian bestsellers. And she's recorded more than 50 meditations and developed some wonderful programs, the Angel Life Coach Training, the Isis Angel Healing, and the Magdalene Healing healing Modalities. She has had her own radio show. uh, And as you'll hear, she's a consummate radio show guest and she's been also featured in many magazines appeared on several dvds and spiritual movies and on german television and following the wishes of her angels she also dedicates time to new media and regularly publishes channeled messages on her fan page on facebook and on twitter so go out and check her out on facebook and twitter uh we'll give you those handles a little bit later And with her spiritual work, and as a pianist alike, Isabel would like to open up the people's hearts and help them lead a fulfilled life. So it's just so exciting to have you here. Isabel, welcome, welcome. Hello, Lisa. I'm so happy to be back. It's always such a great joy to be with you. I really love it. (laughs) Uh, Same here. And gosh, and every time we get together, the angel energy is so buzzy. And I just love it. (laughs) We have to, you know, we'll just cultivate that and send that out to everybody. Um, you know, everybody who's listening and there is no time and space. So even if you're listening to the archives, we'll send you angel blessings and energy too. (laughs) Oh yes. And lots of love and angel sparks and blessings may rain upon everybody who is listening whenever he or she is listening. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now our show today, um, we're going to be talking about angel angels and guardian angels. And, um, Isabel has been, on my show several times and we just absolutely love to have her so that's why we ask her to come back all the time and uh so i think instead of focusing on isabel's background which if you'd like to know about it uh we've gone over this in detail in some earlier episodes so you can go listen to those um but you know it may come in here or there as we talk but i i wanted to start out by um doing angel basics so uh just to get going here and uh, Isabel can you talk to us uh, briefly about um, angels you know what are they why do they exist yes angels are really the messages between God and ourselves and sometimes God or or however you want to call this energy I mean I love the word God but others call it source or universe Um, sometimes God seems to be so far away and the angels seem to be somehow closer and we know them since centuries from the beautiful paintings of Raphael, of Botticelli, of all the great, great 
painters. And so angels seem to be common language. Also very often it happens that someone who normally doesn't even believe in angels has an accident and like a miracle this person was saved and doesn't even have to go to hospital hospital and then the people say oh my god you have have you have had a great guardian angel support you know mm. and so guardian angels are part of the normal life even if people don't think so much about them maybe can you tell us a little bit more about uh you said you know angels are uh, our connection with God, the messengers, or the message. Um, so what is the difference between a regular angel and a guardian angel? You know, we have so many different angels out there for different uh, things to help us. But what is so special about the guardian angels is that they are just there for every single person. So my guardian angels, of course, are not your guardian angels. Your guardian angels are not the guardian angels of someone else because... These angels are with us from the beginning of times till the end of times. And they really, really mm -hmm. help us to come through our life. But we also have to ask them for help. So are they, so you said they're from the beginning of time to the end of time. So that's kind of obviously beyond our lifetime. Exactly. Uh, our physical lifetime. So exactly. Are they, me, are they always been with, say, even our higher selves, our souls? I uh, yes from I I know other people may say something different but mm -hmm. what they told me they are really with us with our soul so they really uh, are with us but they also just in this moment are talking to me whispering in my ears and they say I should sell some uh, say something add something so yeah. it might be that they don't have in every lifetime the same names because it might be they just are talking about it that one time I had been born in Babylon and now I'm a German girl so probably mm. in that time I would have had other names in my ears even if it was the same or if it were the same guardian angels but it depends which kind of uh, uh, how does a country we are born into or which kind of language we speak because maybe now I wouldn't understand the name from a far away country you know Yes. Oh, okay. So it's a, it's a name that you could relate to. Exactly. Well, how important is the name? Oh, you know, if you have people in your life and these people come close to you, you want to know their names, right? Because mm -hmm. it's, it becomes more familiar. And so the angels also say, you know, if you don't know our names and just say, angels, please help, you will never have such an intimate, such a precious relationship with them than if you know their names. You know, this is yeah. very different. Well, it's important to us, I think, as people that, um, you know, we want to know people's name, other people's names. Ex and, exactly. And we identify with that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And, you know, also it, it's the case that every name holds a certain vibration. Uh -huh. And even if there are more Lisas out there or more Isabels out there, if you connect to that certain person, like if I would connect to you and just would repeat your name, Lisa, Lisa in my mind, mm. I would receive your frequency of that moment, mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. so it's also the same if we have our guardian name, uh, angels' names, it makes a lot of difference than we just say, please, guardian angels, help me. Uh, okay, you know, so this is very interesting. Um, and as uh, I think you, um, the people out there may or may not know that, you know, both you and I are trained in, in angel uh, communication and angel therapy. And um, so I know that people have often and many, many times asked me what their guardian angel's name is. So is there a process that people can go through in your mind to get to know the name of their guardian angel? Yes, of course there is. And then uh, I would love at the end of the show to, to guide the people through the oh, process. Yeah. But, but, I can, mm -hmm. but, but I can tell now. So it, it is important that you have a, a really a still place to go or even better, you go out in nature and maybe lie down in a meadow and just become silent and feel your body connected to Mother Earth. Feel your body, how you feel, feel the parts of your body really to connect with your feeling energy. And then you turn your head a little bit over your right shoulder and try to feel 
what kind of energy do you feel there? Does it feel more masculine or more feminine? And you will know, you, your gut feelings will tell you, and you can do the same with your left side, because all of us, we have two guardian angels, at least, a more masculine one and a more feminine one. And the more feminine one is like carrying us, even in, in the really difficult phases of our life, this angel is there, this angel is comforting us, this angel is really there to, to hold us, while the more masculine guardian angel is there to give us a push that we really stay on the path of the life we have chosen before we incarnated. So it's like the angel who keeps us on track, you know, so we really need both energies. But also, the, it's the case that they are only allowed to help us if we ask, because you have to imagine we have the free will. And for the angels, or especially for our guardian angels, it's very hard because they sometimes feel like parents, like a mother or father mm -hmm. who wants to help his child or her, her child, and they cannot do it because the child doesn't allow it. And it's the same for the guardian angels. If we don't talk to them, if we don't ask them for help, they are there. And they are not allowed to do anything besides we have a life-threatening situation. Mm. And it's not mm. the time for us to leave the planet. How, so how do people know that they're actually there if they haven't ever connected? Or if they, or how do they know that, you know, maybe they connected once? How do they know they're still there? <laughs> yes. So the, the point is you should really regularly talk to them, even if you don't ah, yet yes. know the name, you know, because the point is, Sometimes you receive it immediately. I did this process. I will guide you through later with one of my clients when I still had my studio where I did one and one sessions. And he heard, for instance, the name Peter. And he was not sure because he said, this is such an ordinary name. This cannot be the name of one of my guardian angels. And I said, go out in your life and you will get signs. And he, he went out of my studio, drove with his uh, bicycle around the corner and he was driving behind a car and there was a sign in the car which had written on it, baby Peter on board. Then, oh he, then wait, wait. I said he needs several signs. And then he drove uh, further and then he saw a cinema advertisement, Peter, a film about, a movie about Peter. And so it went on and then he was sure the name oh my god people. that's an amazing story i love that i love that when people come up with a, a, or tell those experiences <laughs> well we're going to go to break and then when we come back uh we'll do more we'll come up with more ways that you can connect to your angels so hang in there and stay with us this is otr fm part of the iom radio network are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.ohmtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Ohm Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Hello, join us, Lisa Berry and Michelle Carter, every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time for the Mindset Makeover, What's Possible? Get ready to become present, clear, and unstuck and start living fully, led by your heart. While you listen and feel this transformation through vibration of word, sound, and song, you'll open up to what's possible and experience your shift. Hello, I'm Miriam Knight of New Consciousness Review, inviting you to my new show where I interview the rising stars of the Conscious Awakening. We'll explore the many faces of consciousness and action and intriguing perspectives on life, the universe, and everything in between. Join us each Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern on the Rising Stars Show. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. You're listening to OTR FM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Okay, and you're listening to Between Heaven and Earth Radio, 
And we are here with Isabel von Falois, who is an angel expert, and we're talking to her about how to connect to your angels um, and how to feel, how, that, how to know that they are there. So, Isabel, I wanted to know, uh, I'm trying to, I'm thinking of questions that I had when I was starting to find out about angels and um, what other people might have questions about. So, what, angels, what are they, what's their purpose? What do they do? Can they do anything for you? Of what do you course. ask them? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, so, even, even when you seem not to believe in angels, when you really, really ask them for help, you will receive signs that they are really there. Sometimes obvious signs that, for instance, all of a sudden right in front of you, you will find a white feather and not in your bedroom when you just were making your bed. You, you get me, right? Yeah. But outside on the street, all of a sudden there's a white feather. This is a sign. There could be a coin. There could be also like butterflies coming closely to you to show you here we are in, a, in another way of, sense or it might be that you all of a sudden start to see light flashes uh, at the edges of your eyes or or light uh, bulbs or something like that but what i really really love to do or did some years ago was to to build a so-called angel box you can take whatever box you have you can put an angel painting on it or you can buy an angel box with an angel picture on it or whatsoever or, or make it beautiful with some glimmer and and whatever you wish for you can put it into that box and then you have just to let go and surrender and i just want to share a little story with that because this was yeah, really sure. very powerful mm -hmm. so i before I had a book contract, I started to write my first book and which was about my healing story. And I really wanted this book to be published, not to become known, not to become famous, but to help people to have hope even in see seemingly really life-threatening situations. And so I, I produced on my laptop, I produced the cover of that book with the title and I even wrote down the publishing company, which I wished to be published by. But I also wrote next to the publishing company or something better. And I uh, put this I like paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, and I put so this. I put this paper with the cover on it into the angel box and I totally forgot and then I was already uh, doing some angel readings at the big angel uh, congress in Germany and all of a sudden I get a call from this publisher and I really? thought okay yeah yeah wait uh -huh. and, and and he said <laughs> yes he had seen me always giving the most uh, wonderful readings to people and he would see that everyone was just queuing in front of my table and so he thought what would I think about writing an angel book for him and I was like what <gasps> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and then he I said yes I'm writing a book I'm, I'm writing down my story and he said no 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 I'm not interested in your story right now I want you to write a book about angels I said okay give oh. me give me a night to think about it and so my really, my really first official book, which was not my story, this was published really by another publisher, but mm -hmm. my really first book was published exactly by the publisher in my angel box. And only a year after I took, I opened the angel box, box and found this out and I thought, this is amazing. Oh, so you didn't even remember that. No, because the, <laughs> the really important thing, if you really want to manifest something, yeah. You have to trust into the angels. You have to see it. Like if you do an order online or via catalog, you won't call every day. Is my order already coming? Is my order already <laughs> sent? No, you will forget about it and wait until it's there. And you have to do the same with the angels. You have to trust that they will orchestrate everything for you. Oh and gosh. sometimes the dreams you have, may be fulfilled in an even bigger way than you could imagine in your wildest dreams. And, and that I think, is the, yeah, it's yeah, the, I think you, the important thing that you said is you have to let, let it go. I mean, yes. you put it in the box and you forgot about it. So exactly. with your faith that, you know, I put my order in with the waiter and, exactly. you know, I expect, to, you know, my roast chicken to come out because that's what I asked for <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or you know, something better. <laughs> yeah. And today, when also when I do like manifestation meditations with my, my participants, always I say after they were visualizing their dreams as already being seen or being fulfilled, I always tell 
If you're courageous, then please call now Archangel Michael that he cuts every single cord from you towards your wishes, every single attachment. Because really? the more you are able to let go yes. and let the angels do it, uh, yes. the more that, miracles think, are possible. That, that, exactly. I'll, so I, have, I want to share my story. I, t- I have a story to tell you. Yes, please. Um, so, and this was actually a, about a year after... after... No, no, it was, uh, yeah, it was around when I, after I had um, just read uh, and started learning about angels. But um, I was looking for a school for my son, and he was about nine, ten years old. And he was really, where he was in regular school, was uh, public school, it was really bad for him. It was really, really awful. He was having a horrible time um, on so many levels, and it was getting worse, and I had... Uh, we had applied to a school and he was put on the wait list. And so the next year we thought, okay, well, we'll apply again. And we applied again and he got put on the wait list again. And I thought, oh my God, we, I, I just can't keep waiting a year because you can't, you know, it's not like you can just um, apply every month. You have to wait. And yes. so, I, and I was so exasperated, and I, I knew, I thought that this was the school for him. It had the right academic level. It had, it was close by. It had, um, you know, the kinds of character building aspects to it that were great, that make you a good person and a wonderful citizen. And, and I, I was so exasperated, and he was suffering so much. I just said, okay, and I just prayed, and I said, I will do, I will put him anywhere that you bring him, you know, you bring for me. Just yes. I will I will do whatever it is you know you yes. want me to do just just you know you know what it is we're looking for so you know show me bring the best school well um, it was we ha- this was at the end of the year and you know usually you have to apply like in January or so um, because then they do the interviews and all that and by the time April comes around everything's get winding down for the fall so yes. it was like late April. And uh, so I was thinking, you know, maybe the year after. And so I, um, a friend of mine said, you know, I was talking to her and she said, oh, why don't you call this school? Um, you know, I, that might be good. And I had considered the school before, but we rejected it. Um, and I said, well, okay. And um, I said, maybe we're going to do tours or something. So I called them up. And I said, you know, um, could we do a tour? And they said, sure. Um, if you're, are you interested in the fall? And I said, yeah. She says, well... If you apply, if you send in your application right now, I can I can get you in and get you a, a sneak you into an interview, but you got to do it right now because they're doing two they were doing the second rounds of interviews. Wow! I was like, okay, so I'll do that. So I sent it in. She got us an interview. Go in for the interview. I asked for her. She's not there anymore. The girl who helped me get in uh, into the interview was not my son was not there anymore. I said, you know, what happened to so and so? They said, oh. She, she was only here for a couple of weeks and she's left. She quit. Wow, really? <laughs> anyway, he goes into the interview. He, ate, he They loved him. Loved oh. him. So then a few days later, they call me up and they say, oh, you know, we love, we love your son. We want him to come here for school. So we've accepted him. Oh. Right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> That's amazing. And then... And then, um, then I, about the next day, the other school calls back that he was on the wait list and says, oh, you know what? We have a space for your son. <laughs> and I said, um, uh, thank you, but no thank you. I think uh, he's going to go to this other school. <laughs> well, let me tell you, that was eight years ago. This school has been, I, it's just been phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal in so many different ways. And he's so happy. It's like he went from hell to heaven and oh my God! It, it's incredible. He's and he's turned into this amazing person who actually can manifest the most incredible things, and oh. uh, and and he's happy all the time. Um, he got into he he actually got into um, one of the top schools, and um, well, I'll say it, he got into an Ivy League. Um, and, you know, it it it, that, it was like the dream come true. But more than that, it made him happy. Made him an incredible person. Oh, Learned you some- see. Yeah, you see, so, the angels know better than us. <laughs> but all those things, I mean, you know, I was going to give up. Um, the, and this woman, she got us in, she snuck us in, and then I go back and she's not there. She was only there for two weeks. 
you know, yeah. and she had to be there just for your son. Exactly. Sometimes it's like the, even the human beings can be messenger angels for us. It's it's not only angels in in higher forms. We also meet humans who are for us like angels. You know, this is so important to see. But I think the key was that, like you said, was that I just totally gave up. I was so I worked so hard at getting him into the wrong school. Yeah. Yeah, and you yeah. know, I don't, I don't know whether you have this saying in in uh, in the U.S. Here we say you never can fall deeper than in God's hands. Oh, I love that! Wow, wow! And and so this you, is, you really have to let go. You really have yes. to, you know, yes. just say, okay, I'm going to put my faith and trust in whatever comes, because that yeah. was what, how I felt. Is like whatever you give me, I will take. And you know, in this moment, when you completely surrender, then they finally can help you. Because before you try to do everything by yourself. Mm -hmm. But in the moment, it was the same as my illness with, with leukemia. After four years, I didn't trust in any doctor, in any healer anymore. And in that moment, I said, okay, if no one, no human is able to help me. So now, even before I was praying, but now I give my whole life. And everything I am into the hands of God and the angels. And from that moment on, the miracles started to happen, you know. Really? So yes. how, do you, how do you continue that? How, you know, because we, we, we don't, uh, you know, we want to have control. We try to over control our lives. And how do you? To be honest, in, I don't 45 try to seconds. do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I really don't try to do that. Every single day, I, I, I really say, I am here to serve you, show me where I have to go, where I have to be, with whom I have to talk, and what is my mission for today. And I, I don't think what I want, I think what they show me. You know, this is much more important than whatever Isabel von Falua could want. That's it. I think that's the key. What you said is about serving. Yes. Right? I am here to serve you. And that, yes. that's that giving up to, you know, giving over. And that's yes. how I felt. I felt like whatever you bring me, I will take. It's like whatever you want, I will do. Exactly. That's how it <laughs> I works. I love that. Well, we're <laughs> going to go to another break. <laughs> and when we come back, we'll tell you how, um, how you can connect more with your angels and connect with Isabel. So stay with us. We'll be right back. You're listening to OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. The name is Bond. James Bond. No, the name is Joe. The Joe Show. And we are returning back for our ninth season here on Old Times Radio. So tune in every Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, on oldtimes.com slash mobile. You can take us wherever you go. Yeah! This is Terry Van Horn, and I want to invite you to join me for my weekly radio show, Hailing Light, on Ohm Times Radio every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Healing Light, we want to bring love, light, and blessings into your world. You can find out more about us at www.healinglightonline.com. Blessings. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. 
Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. You're listening to OTR FM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Listening to Between Heaven and Earth Radio, and we're on the OM Times Radio Network, and we are at our half hour mark, and we're going to take a, a little bit of a a pause here to, to let you know where you can connect with myself and my guest Isabel, uh, and what's going on because it's always fun to know what you know what events and things are happening and uh, where you can get more information. Uh, my website is lmk88.com, and you can connect with me there. Those are my initials and my favorite number, lmk88.com, and I'm. Um, Writing, I'm always writing. I'm writing for, obviously, I write for um, Times, and I write for the Huffington Post. I'm going to be writing uh, new articles weekly, and you, you'll be able to find those all in one place at my website and my blog at lmk88.com. And also, I am now expanding my radio show and podcast to reach more people, both um, both like live and in the archives, but now you'll be able to get this Between Heaven and Earth radio show, which I've been doing for, oh gosh, I've been doing it for eight years, uh, and you'll be able to get it on an app, and we're going to be doing additional podcasts where um, I'll be going back to what I did originally with the show, which was giving you some great tips and techniques and things on how to improve your life. Um, and it's under an app called Lisa K Radio, and you'll be able to listen to it anywhere and anytime. It's really exciting, and that should be out sometime in July. And also, if you want to learn how to develop your intuition, I am doing Developing Your Intuition Level 1 in-person class. Now, I do this once a year, and it's coming. It's coming up in October, October 15th and 16th, so... Note that down in your calendar uh, in Hawthorne, New York, and we'll be sending out information about that on my events page and on my newsletter list, so sign up. Um, and we'll be doing, a, we're taking a little radio break in June, but we'll be back in July. Now let me tell you a little bit about Isabel Von Falois. You can reach her at her website at Isabel Von Falois, and I'll spell that. Isabel is I-S-A-B-E-L-L-E. V O N F A L O I S dot com, and that's her website. And um, also, she has another website called Angel Life Coaching. Oh, I'm sorry, Angel Life Coach Training dot com. Isabel, did I get that right? Yes, Angel Life Coach Training dot com. Right. Okay. And and <laughs> if you if you couldn't tell, Isabel is uh, from Germany, so that is her home country. And uh, but she is uh, travels a lot. And we're going to get you out here to New York. Yes, so next year. I hope so. We will oh, manage yes. that. Please I really, um, I really want to come. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And, and Isabel is, um, she is so well known in Germany and uh, Italy and different parts of Europe um, and around the world. She's just absolutely amazing. I'm very honored that she's uh, here on the show with us and talking to us about angels. Um, so, Isabel, do you have other things you'd like to share yeah. with our listeners? Yes, 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 yes. You know, um, you, we always have situations where we maybe uh, don't know how to talk to someone else because it's so personal. And what, But what we all know is when we start speaking to someone, even if the person is just listening and it's not even giving us advice, we find our solutions by ourselves. And so a very, very good thing is to really start to talk to your guardian angels as if they were your best friends. Tell them about your sorrows. Tell them about your projects. Ask them to let advice show up, maybe through a song, maybe through a person who starts talking to you, even a foreigner in the bus, in the metro. You will receive advice if you start talking to them. So how do you know that it's um, from, you know, I, I guess what you're saying is that the angels kind of 
give them messages through other people? Yes. Oh, maybe if you hear them by yourself, you know, but this is maybe a, a needs a little bit of training. But for instance, you know, my, 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 my mother also does really incredible thing, which has worked already a lot of times. For instance, if someone talks to her and says, you know what, I really would love to meet the man of my life or the woman of my life or to have really a wonderful a uh, love relationship then she starts to pray that the guardian angels of the person she knows mm -hmm. start to talk to the guardian angels of the person which is good for that person and really she does this regularly and she has incredible results by doing that for other people and oh. yeah <laughs> and also something which i really really mm -hmm. love to, to to tell people and it really works you know for instance Lisa, we all know that, right? Sometimes we are annoyed by some other people, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes we cannot talk to them what we really would like to say because it would make the situation even worse. So what yes. we can do is to talk to our guardian angels and to say, you know what? Um, I have really this theme going on with that special person. And I really would like to tell her or to tell him how I feel with that but you know it's not the right thing to do it in person so I would ask you and you tell exactly what you want to tell the other person to your guardian mm -hmm. angels and you ask them to tell this to the guardian angels of that person and really Lisa very very often after doing this I and also a lot of people I had teaching this to told me it's amazing it is as if I had spoken to that person the person is behaving completely different after i did that wow that's great and you know what's wonderful about that what i like about it is uh you can do it without um, being afraid really exactly <laughs> because sometimes you know people are different some people yeah. love to immediately talk to another person if something is wrong and other people love more harmony in their lives. And for them, it's very, very difficult to confront with other yes. people. Yes. And some people and are difficult to talk to, you know, exactly. or, or you've always had the same relationship for so long. It might be, <laughs> exactly. you know, someone you're married to or someone in your family and you know exactly. that you can never go there. Don't exactly. go to that conversation because we know it's going to come out. But you want a different outcome. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And also what I, I, really, I, I really love to do is to write letters to my guardian angels to, to oh. like like I to people I love. I'm still someone who writes via hand and not only via via laptop or iPhone or so ever. I really am a person who still writes, and so I really sit down and and I use beautiful paper, a wonderful envelope, and I take a, a colored pen and I write a love letter and uh, to my guardian angels, and I also write what I wish for. For instance, because I, I, I have just, um, I'm just in the middle of finishing a big, big book project, the, the, the thickest book I've written until now. And wow. so uh, some, some months ago I wrote them. I, please uh, help me because I knew between all the travelings and the teaching, it's really hard to finish a book with more than 500 pages, right? Yeah. So, so wow, I, 500 uh, pages. <laughs> well, at the moment it has 750 pages. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, but with all the editing, it probably will be less. But uh, you can imagine yeah, how instead much of 500 it is. or so, uh, yeah, yeah, it'll, be, it'll yeah. be maybe 400. <laughs> no, I think don't think so, but uh, probably <laughs> not 750. But yeah. can you imagine? So I really wrote them. Please help me to finish this book in the flow and be with me, guide me, show me where I have to go. And to be honest, it really worked out. I mean, it was a hell of work, but I finished it when I had to finish it, even if I had so much other work to do, you know. And you know what I love about that method, you know, either writing them or talking to them or, or praying, is that it it's really gets you engaged with your relationship with your guardian angels and with your angels and you exactly. know, I think it, it gets you involved. And so uh, if you're always waiting for them to come um, and you don't do anything, then sometimes that is sight out of mind, you know, but I, I think that makes a difference. So if you're, if you're engaged, you're active and you're asking and you're telling them 
what's going on in your mind, even though they know already, but it, it's really more for you, right? So that you yeah. are aware that you're having a relationship with them. And, and still, and still, it's he, they are not here to solve our lives. They, they mm. are not here to work for us. They are here to support us that we can be more happy, more healthy, and do the work we have to do on ah. earth and, and to grow, you know, it's yes. not that, you know, because I, I just did in the big, big 444 event with Dorian Birch, Di, uh, Diana Cooper, Carl Gray. Uh, I did the healing workshop. We all uh, did one week and at the end, the live workshop. So I was the last one and I did the healing workshop last Saturday in Hamburg. And mm. I also told the people, you know, of course, when I had the diagnosis, leukemia, three days to three weeks to live, I would have liked to just uh, do this with my fingers <laughs> and, and say, it's please, done. angels, help me. And it's done. And the next day I'm healed. Uh, uh, an overnight miracle. But to be mm -hmm. honest, if this had happened, probably after at least three years, I had forgotten about the miracle and my life would be the same. And because it didn't yeah happen overnight because I had to really look at my shadows, look at my weaknesses, look at my past and work through it. Because of that, I am today the person I am and not because they did a miracle on me, you know? Ah, uh, so, so we have, to, as you said, I think it was very key. We have, you, we all have yeah. to do the work. <laughs> exactly. They and, are... And yeah. They help us, but we have to, to work too. <laughs> we have to live our lives. But otherwise, is why bother live, right? Why bother be here? And and I think from what you're saying, it sounds like also that they, because you had you worked with them um, and they were supporting you, but you had to do the work, then you're continuing to also get their support and work with them and, and build your relationship and know that you're being guided. Yes, and you know, it's the same like with children, you know? Mm. The children have to grow up. The parents can support them, uh, but they have to grow up. And it's the same what we are here to do. We have to grow. And if they would do the work for us, if they did the work for us, we wouldn't grow. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. And I guess as a parent, obviously I'm a parent, <laughs> um, it's the same, yeah, that same concept. And I guess there are times when you have to let your kid uh you know learn the hard way <laughs> even maybe if not too want. hard <laughs> yes yes even if you would sometimes say oh my god god give me this to carry not my child but still the child will have to carry it you can support it but some things the children have to carry on their own to, and they to really be... you watch yes you see that and so yes. that's how they're working with us i wow that makes it uh I love that perspective because I didn't think about it that way, but that makes it easier to, um, I think, go through life and work yes. with your anger. Yes. Well, we're uh, going to go to another break again, <laughs> the last <laughs> one. And when we come back, we do yeah, the this goes little so meditation. Fast. Yeah, and Isabel is going to do a meditation with all of you on how to connect with your guardian angels. So come back and stay with us. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Hi everyone, this is Shay Parker, the host of Best of the Best, which airs live right here on IOM Radio every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm super excited to bring you expert guest hosts, spiritual discussions, free psychic readings, and so much more. I can promise that you will not want to miss this one-of-a-kind, fun, yet touching, down-to-earth show. Join us every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific on OTRFM. This is Shay Parker, and I can't wait to see you there. 
Matt Connerton here. Join Jen Coffee and I twice a week for Matt Connerton Unleashed, a political talk show that's a little different than what you're used to. No liberal or conservative agenda here, just an honest dialogue about truth and how things really work in the world of politics. Matt Connerton Unleashed, every Tuesday and Thursday night at 11 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. This is OTRFM. Part of the IOM Radio Network. And you're listening to Between Heaven and Earth Radio right here on the OM Times Radio Network. And I'm talking to Isabel von Falwa. And we're at our last segment here in our hour. And Isabel. Would you do us the honor of um, guiding us in a meditation, I guess, uh, to connect with our angels or whatever you'd like to do with that? Exactly. Yes. I, no, I, I, tell us what yes. you'd like to do. I yeah. would like to connect uh, the listeners to, to their guardian angels. And please, dear listeners, don't, don't worry in case you should not hear the names of your guardian angels. They might show up in your daily life. For instance, you, you see three times a certain name written somewhere. Then you can know this is the name of one of my guardian angels. You will know the name in divine time. But still you can connect and you will feel on which side of your body you feel a more masculine and on which side of your body you feel a more feminine energy. Just trust your gut feelings and I will guide you now. Breathe in with open eyes and while breathing out deeply, close your eyes in slow motion and give your brain the command to go into a deep, relaxed and very conscious state. Breathe in and out deeply. And relax, relax, relax. And let your thoughts go by like clouds in the sky. Only observe them. Don't absorb them and let them go. And in case there are thoughts you don't wish to think, just repeat the word love in your mind like a mantra. Love, love, love. And now feel the magnificent presence of Archangel Michael close to you. And he surrounds you right now with his indigo royal blue golden light spiraling through all the layers of your aura, through all the fibers of your being. And breathe it in deeply and know you are protected on all levels. And now, beloved soul, turn your head slightly to your right shoulder and try to feel the energy just behind your right shoulder. How does this energy feel? Does it feel more masculine or more feminine? Just trust your gut feelings, your intuition. And then say, Hello, my guardian angel. I welcome you into my life. And then start to talk to him or to her. And the way you would talk to a beloved friend, tell him or her what is on your mind right now. 
with what you could need some more help. Just talk to this angel like you would talk to a wonderful friend. And listen with your heart, with your intuition, with your mind, with all of your inner and outer channels. And then maybe ask, What is your name? Do you want to tell me your name right now? And again, listen with all of your senses. And in case you shouldn't hear or feel a name right now, be sure you will know the name in divine time. Just keep your eyes and ears and your heart and your mind open. And then turn over to your left shoulder and scan, feel, the energy behind your left side. How does this energy feel? Does this energy feel more feminine or more masculine? Trust your first impression. Your intuition doesn't lie. Know that, beloved soul. And then say, hello, my guardian angel. I'm so happy to have you in my life. It is so wonderful to know that you are always with me, that you are accompanying me wherever I am, wherever I go. It is wonderful to know that I'm never, ever alone, that you are here to carry me, that you are here to push me if I need some push. It is so wonderful to know that I'm always supported. And I promise you from today on, I will talk more often with you to let you know what is going on in my life and where I truly need your help. Be sure. I allow you to support me. Do you want to let me know your beautiful name, my guardian angel? Listen with all of your senses, with your heart, your mind, your ears, your intuition. Listen. And trust what you hear, what you feel, what you know. And in case there was no name yet, be sure this name will be revealed to you. Just keep your eyes, your ears, your heart and your mind open for the signs of your guardian angels. And now promise them that you will really talk more often with them. And also be sure that their wish to communicate with you is even deeper than your wish to communicate with them. Say thank you for their beautiful eternal company. And listen one last moment. Maybe one of them or both of them 
have a special message for you. Listen carefully. And then once more, breathe in deeply. Start to stretch your body to completely come back into the here and now and into your physical body, the temple of your soul. Breathe once more deeply and open your eyes when you feel ready. Wow. That was wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. I think uh, um, it's always nice to reconnect, reconnect to my angels. And, and you know, and that's a, uh, just amazing meditation to, for those people of you out there who haven't connected before. Hopefully this has helped you do that. I'd love to hear um, if people have had some experience with that meditation. Wouldn't you think, um, Isabel, should we invite yes. people to comment on uh, your page or on, uh, we have of a Between course. Heaven and Earth uh, Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash Between Heaven and Earth. And of course the show's there So um, at the listing. So, you know, go and if you're listening to the archives, go and post there and let us know how that meditation went for you. Did you meet your angel? Uh, how did it go for you? And absolutely amazing awesome Isabel we're at the end of our show thank you so much for being with us thank you so much for having me again beloved oh, Lisa <laughs> well I, we're going to make the uh, if I invite you back and if you're willing you know we'll have you back you know maybe come back in Christmas time and... oh yes it's, it's nice to <laughs> that was a great you. show we did <laughs> yes, yeah. yes I love yes. I love having you thank you for being with us thank you so much thank you you so much and angel blessings for everyone yes angel blessings to everybody uh, you've been listening to between heaven and earth conscious living for your soul tune in next time live right here on Om times radio angel blessings to everyone bye bye <laughs>